Welcome to our tour of the University Library online portal. Today we'll be using the TRU Library as our example, but remember that most college and university libraries will have similar resources. You might just have to explore a little to find them. In this short video, we will review the general resources available on the library page and we'll practice conducting a search for information. Then we'll look at some of the ways you can access information once you've found it. Let's begin by exploring the library homepage. You'll find a lot of information here to help you conduct research and to use that research effectively in your studies. We can access this information by clicking on the Research Guides tab. Several options are available here. If you want to find more information on a particular subject that you're studying, you can select it and this will lead you to a bunch of resources and guides that you might find useful. Likewise, under Other Guides and How-To Writing Support, you can find a range of information to help you with your studies. You can, for example, find information on doing annotated bibliographies or presentation skills. Every library will offer a different selection of these kinds of resources, so you have to explore a bit and find things that you will find useful. Let's look now at the Citation Guides section. If we click here, we can see information on the different types of citation guides available for study. But right down here at the bottom, we can also see this information about plagiarism. Take special note of this information. For some students, the conventions around documenting sources can be quite different than what they're used to. So take some time to review university policy and your instructor's expectations around this. All right, we're gonna have a look at APA citation because it's one of the most common. Make sure that you understand though which citation guide your instructor expects you to use. On this page, we get a whole range of information about the APA style. Down here at the bottom, there's a paper template, there's a sample APA paper so that you can copy the format. And over here on the left-hand side, you can find information on how to do your APA referencing. Let's go back to the home page and try and actually find a source. Now we're back at the TRU Library home page and we can see about searching for some information. Here you have your basic search portal for the library. While Google searches the entire internet, the library portal searches dozens of databases and library holdings that have been filtered for university use. This means you're more likely to get relevant and quality information. Let's go straight to advanced search. Today, we're going to search for information related to digital technology and literacy. So let's just type those terms in. Okay. Now, you can see now that the terms are in that we have several choices here. There are several search boxes so we can split our terms up across those boxes and we can choose the relationship between those search terms. So we want and, not or. We can also select what field we want to search. In this case, we're interested in the subject terms or the all field term. So we can just leave it like that. Finally, down here, we can narrow our searches by selecting the type of discipline that we want. This just helps to limit the returns. So we might select, for example, communications and education. But be really careful when you're limiting your searches because you might lose out on some really great information. All right, let's see what we can get. So here's the list for our search results. We can see, before we look at specific results, we can see here on the left-hand side more options for limiting our searches. Uh, we can go down here. We could search only things that are available full text, so if you want them right away, you can click them. You can select only scholarly articles. Sometimes instructors require you to only use scholarly information. Um, down here, you can refine that even more, academic journals, magazines, if you only want books. So again, lots of options here, but be really careful not to limit too much. You can see though that we have 40,000 results, better than Google, but not particularly useful. So you would want to play around with the limiters a little bit. 
Let's have a look at our actual search results now and see what kind of information we can find out about them. So one of the first things we want to do is click on the title. So once we get to the full information about this particular result, we can see a few things. Uh, we can see that uh, it's a book, it was published in 2015, nice and recent. These search terms down here, these are really useful because those are terms you could use to find more information on the same topic. Uh, over here on the right hand side is information to help you get access to this material. So while you're doing your search, you can email this result to yourself. But the key thing is this cite option. This button will provide for you the reference for the source that you found. This is really useful information, both for helping you to find the source again later, but also for putting in your references for your research papers. So here's our APA citation, and it's all uh, generated for you. So you can copy and paste that for future reference. Let's go back to our results list and look at the different kinds of sources that we have. This first source we looked at uh, is clearly a book, and you can see it gives you the uh, physical location of the book in the library, but in this case, there's also an ebook available. So if we were to click here, we would get direct online access to it. Sometimes the sources are provided in a full PDF text, as this one down here is. Again, simply click, and the document will open for you and you can save it. Again, you might want to, in this case, click on the title, use the site feature and get that APA reference so that you'll have it. Most often articles are available from the online database and you'll have to click through the instructions to get access to them. So we can click on the where can I get this button and we follow these instructions until we get access to the article. We've covered the basics of what you can find and do on a university library portal. One last reminder, librarians are always there to support students. Get in touch if you need some help with your research.